Straight out to Jennifer Morgan, TTN Denver reporter who also lives in the very town, the very area where so many parents right now are keeping their kids close. Jennifer, reaction tonight in that area to this breaking news. Uh, one station reporting DNA matches up to a previous abduction attempt. Yeah, they're saying that there is DNA from both. It's not confirmed by Westminster Police, although Westminster Police has said that they did find the necklace in one of the three crime areas. The reaction in the neighborhood is people are scared. Where I live, I'm scared to even walk down the street because I'm very, very close to where she used to live. Um, we don't know positive if the DNA found on this woman or from this other case is related to to Jessica Ridgeway, but the police are looking for the man of this other case. Yeah, and we have a description. We're going to bring that to you now. Listen, the DNA, what this news station is reporting is that there was a DNA match between uh, a man's DNA found on Jessica's remains and her book bag to a previous attempted sexual assault. Now, we, we don't know which previous sexual assault, but we can tell you that there were two attempted abductions at Kettner Lake, which is less than three miles away from Jessica's home. Now, here are the key locations in this investigation. I mean, you can see that the spot where these two women were attacked is literally around the corner from Jessica's school. The women reported being accosted by a man while jogging. The last attack was over Memorial Day. And then the one before that was in 2010. Okay, and the suspect put a chemical soap rag over their faces, but they were able to get away. Now, the suspect is described as a light-skinned male, 18 to 35, brown hair, medium build, standing 5'6 to 5'8. I want to bring in Larry Kobolinski, forensic scientist. Investigators are now going door to door collecting DNA samples, but it does seem like a portrait is emerging of who they're looking for, that it is a male, uh, who may have been responsible for those attempted attacks as well as this horrific murder. Well, Jane, they're narrowing this down uh, very tight. Uh, this is very similar to what was done in Leicester, England. Uh, two teenage girls were raped and murdered, and the police went door to door and tested about 20,000 people that could have uh, contributed the semen found on the victims. Here, too, we have a situation where touch DNA, the skin cells from the perpetrator, were found on the backpack, and that matched DNA found on the body of the dismembered body of, of Jessica Ridgeway. Uh, so we, now we've got that, that linkage, but now we've got a further linkage. This is the power of DNA databases. These crimes have been linked. Uh, the crimes of the previous abduction and sexual assault, I should say, uh, and the Jessica Ridgeway murder. These are now linked. That's the power of DNA databases. And now it's simply a matter of time till they track down the well, source of that it, DNA. It appears to me that this person, cop said there is a predator at large in our midst. That's the first thing that they said. And now with this assault having occurred in 2010, yeah, this is somebody who lives in this area. 